Well, there are many landmarks and sculptures around the North Country, and today another monument was added in Bemidji. Now, Josh Peterson shows us why you can find it only in Minnesota. In a city that prides itself on larger-than-life sculptures, these watchful eyes will have something else to look over. Today in Bemidji's Paul Bunyan Park, a giant hashtag was unloaded and positioned, proudly proclaiming only in Minnesota. If we do use hashtag only in Minnesota on our tweet, it is going to literally go viral across the state because they have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers. So that's pretty much one of the ideas behind it, that it just propels and it goes beyond viral. The traveling hashtag has been on the road over the past year and was proudly displayed during the Super Bowl. With the city of Bemidji being recognized as Minnesota's best town, Visit Bemidji felt it was only fitting that Explore Minnesota brought their Only in Minnesota hashtag monument to the city. We are so incredibly proud to have this in Bemidji. It's kind of like step one in the best Minnesota town party that's going to take place on Wednesday here in the park from 5 to 9 p.m. Even before the monument was completely set up, spectators and tourists couldn't resist this great photo opportunity. Some of the park visitors are happy the giant hashtag is here and are looking forward to the best Minnesota town party. We made it a point. We scheduled vacation time and planned our travel arrangements so that we could be here during this time. We wouldn't have missed it. Day or night, the monument will be on display with LED lighting, adding dramatic effects at night. But the monument is not a permanent fixture. It will only be in place for three weeks. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The only in Minnesota monument is one of many features at the Best Minnesota Town Party, which will be held on Wednesday, June 27th, beginning at 5 p.m. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.